Caffeine exercise in the brain. Caffeine has a performance enhancing effect, in particular during endurance exercise. It works at the low dosage. Is it a drug? Is it safe? Um, I don't think it's a drug. It's uh, at a low dosage, it's safe and it has no real negative effect. It only has negative effect at very, very high on physiological dosages. So it's, it's safe to use, it stimulates you. So it's uh, safe to use. And where does caffeine work? How does it uh, affect your endurance exercise? Is it the brain? Is it the periphery? A long time we thought it was in the periphery, uh, glycogen sparing, more burning more fat. But we now know that even at those low dosages, there's an effect on adenosine receptors, which is in the brain. And it has a stimulant effect. It increases the neurotransmission and especially of one substance, dopamine, which is very important in motivation, but also in motor tasks. So, in public terms, it reduces the pain during exercise, right? Yes. Okay. Final question. You take caffeine by taking a cup of coffee or a pill. What is better? Um, my preference is a cup of coffee. Um, a pill is, of course, concentrated, and, but uh, coffee also contains other very good substances. It has even a um, positive effect in some cancers. Okay, let's go for a cup of coffee. That's Thank you very good. much. Thank you.